tuning in again. My name is Chris Garahan Jr. Today we have a very special guest. We have Luke Matthews. Luke is a specialist in sales and he's also very good at building relationships. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Luke, thank you so much for being on the show. Pleasure to be here. So Luke, in business or really any aspect of life, how important is building relationships? I think it's the foundation on business, period. You know, if good relationships are there, things are going to develop from that. Okay, so do you follow the concept that you're more likely to do business with someone that you have a good relationship with as opposed to a bad one? Oh, absolutely. I mean, that just kind of goes down to, you know, being a kid, you know, kids growing up. Who do you want to hang out with? People you like. Okay? Oh, yeah. You want to play sports and do things with people you like. Same thing in business. Awesome. Okay. So the more technical aspect of building relationships, how, how do you do that? With someone that you're first meeting that you don't have a relationship, relationship with yet, What's something that you would do to build that relationship? Well, find out about them. And to do that, you ask questions, very okay. poignant and specific questions, and that'll give you the information you're kind of looking for. Now, when you say specific questions, what exactly do you mean? Can you give me an, an example real quick? Yeah, a few uh, specific questions. You, you know, where are you from? That's a, one that gets people talking right away. Okay. And the ones like that, depending on the situation or where you're at, but, you know, their age, are they married? You won't, hey, you married? You got, and then if they are married, or do you have kids? Things like that you can build common ground with and find out a lot of information about the person. Okay, so it sounds like you're saying start with very simple questions, and if the relationship or the conversation progresses after that, then get into more deeper, maybe more personal questions? Absolutely, and that's going to be dictated on basically their response. So you ask a few questions, and that's really the art, is asking a few poignant questions, which allows them to talk and elaborate without you having to keep ask questions. Does that make sense? Oh, so yeah. if you have, ask very good questions, they'll go ahead and just let that develop, and they'll tell you a lot more than what you actually asked. Okay, so when, when doing this, when asking the questions, specifically, what's your intention when, when doing this, when building the relationship? Are you just trying to make a sale, or are you genuinely trying to get to know this person? No, I'm. it's not to make a sale, to answer your question. It's to have an intention or a, a pureness about it where I generally just want to find out about the person. Okay. Because if I understand the person and their relationship and their needs, then I can use that information later, and if I have something that can assist them, then that's where a sales process comes in. But it's basically understanding the individual for the person they are okay. and what their needs are. Oh, all right. Well, awesome. Luke, thank you so much for being on the show. I appreciate, appreciate it dramatically. I'm going to apply the concepts that you told me to my life. I know the viewers will watching will also. Viewers watching, who do you listen to? You listen to people who have what you want out of life. As Luke said, building relationships is very important, whether it's business, sports, school, any aspect of life in general, it's very important. As you said, how do you build relationships? Ask questions. And when asking those questions, don't do it for yourself necessarily. Do it for the good intention of getting to know the other person. Folks, thank you for watching. I'm Chris McGarrahan Jr. We will see you next time.